Hundreds of thousands of people will be marching in 800 cities nationwide, including Atlanta. It's the March for Our Lives rally against, Von La against gun violence. Christy Etheridge is at the big march in Washington, D.C. This event was created for kids by kids. And tomorrow, 500,000 people, mostly young ones, will march nine blocks down Pennsylvania Avenue to say not one more child should be shot in a school. The march will end here at the big stage by the U.S. Capitol, a frame for the building where their cries and signs could have lasting impact. And even though this is a big event with impressive big screens and citywide support, the focus will be on the kids. They're the ones who are brought this to this point right now. Kids like 12 year old Riley Taylor. It's going to be something she'll never forget. Her family is from Florida, very close to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, the place that inspired this whole event. I think it's good that people want to like take action and make a change and they're not just kind of like sitting around like just waiting. They're like trying to make things happen. No guns will be allowed on the main street or the sidewalks beside them, but there will be discussions about them by kids and celebrities alike. It's, it's a movement now and hopefully we'll see real change. This event was created after Parkland, but we're only an hour and a half away from the most recent school shooting at Great Mills High School in Southern Maryland. And about 100 students from that school are expected to be here at the march. In Washington, D.C., Christy Etheridge, 11 Alive News. The March for Our Lives isn't just about guns, it's about school security. So should we put more guns in schools? Should we have more school resource officers? We've requested data from seven metro area districts on their current SRO policies. There are tens of thousands of students in these districts. All the counties have armed post-certified officers on middle and high school campuses full time. Most districts we looked at have a similar policy. Two officers stationed at each high school and one at each middle school. None of the districts have a full-time SRO on any elementary school campus, but officers will respond if needed. On average, a school resource officer makes about $55,000. At minimum, it would cost Forsyth schools more than $1 million to put an SRO at each elementary school. Gwinnett County is the biggest district in the state where it could cost at least $4 million. And we want to hear from you. Would you pay more in taxes for more school resource officers? We have a poll up right now at 11alive.com slash vote.